Hi, and welcome to my video on is Elon Musk a clutter or does Elon Musk have cluttering? So um, does Elon Musk have cluttering? The answer is yes. And the second question is, is it really that simple? And the answer is no. So um, so um, going back, um, ha um, asking the question, has Elon Musk ever been officially diagnosed with cluttering? then the answer to that is almost a definite no. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that um, he's got the best voice coaches and like public presentation coaches that money can buy. But um, but I'm guessing that in in his um, coaches, there, there, there aren't uh, there's no speech therapist. And I'm guessing that um, I'm guessing that he has probably like voice voice trainers um, that coach him, but um, but I but I would I, I would be almost certain that he's never like been to a speech therapist. And then the speech therapist um, ran a bunch of tests like they did on me and said, um, "Okay, Elon, you're a you have the um, speech disorder of cluttering." So I don't I, I don't think that's ever happened. But but from the perspective from the perspective of am I a clutter? Have I been diagnosed with cluttering? And does Elon Musk do every single thing that I do as a clutter? Then the answer is yes. But also, um, also um, the interesting thing about cluttering is that everyone does all of the cluttering fluency disorders. So um, with everyone else, I guess the answer is yes too. But but the thing with clutter, the thing with cluttering is that we have those normal speech um, disorders that are uh, um, that are um, done at a much much higher rate than people without cluttering or with pe people with normal speech. And so, um, let me see. Yeah. So, so I, I want to, I want to do a video on like how, um, how speed, um, how someone like, um, Elon Musk would be more, um, likely to go to a speech therapy and, uh, speech therapist and get, um, speech, therapy because I think that from his perspective he'd be like oh yeah my speech is my speech is fine it's not um, I'm no Barack Ob Barack Obama um, but um, but I can communicate my my point and all that kind of thing and then interesting with interestingly with Elon Musk I um, I think I think that s with some people with cluttering then their friends and family say oh hey you um like we know you can't really express yourself, but it's because you're just thinking all these smart things, and and um, they come out um, they come out like kind of jumbled or whatever, because just what, what what's in your head is too complex to come out. And um, and I've noticed that like a lot of inventors have cluttering like speech. I don't know if um, um, and and I think it. I think that sometimes cluttering comes from having just a whole bunch of stuff going on in your head at the same at the same time, and so and so then you're um, th then because you're you just have so much stuff going on in your head that it comes out cluttered. So so I think a lot of people with cluttering have the opposite um, the opposite. Um, the, um, the opposite thing happen where people hear their speech and say, oh, that um, that sounds like stupid speech or whatever. Um, Manny actually did a really good video that um, that talked about that that I watched recently. I think it's actually one of his earlier videos. But um, but but one of the things that I think that people with cluttering can learn from Elon Musk is how to present themselves in a way where everyone else is like, oh, that's... Um, that guy, uh, that guy's speech might not be fluid, but he's really, really smart. Because obviously, that's how Elon comes across. And and um, in in preparation for this video, I watched like tons and tons of videos on on Elon Musk. And one of the one of the common um, video video um, it's not really a meme, but um, one one of the common video compilations out there about Elon is people is reporters asking Elon stupid questions and then Elon trying to um, trying to come up with an answer. And in that case, his cluttering of just kind of stumbling over like, hey, well, I've got um, it, it. It just really kind of brings out the point that this guy is like really, really smart. 
And the reporter asked a stupid question, and he's fumbling over his speech, but he's not fumbling out over his speech not necessarily because he doesn't... Uh, not, not necessarily because his speech is bad, but because the reporter's question's bad, and he's trying to say, okay, well, I was talking about this, you asked me this weird, crazy question, and how do I be nice and... Um, kind of answer your question and then get back to the, what we were talking about all at the same all at the same time. So, um, kind of um, kind of making a huge zigzag. One of the things that I've noticed with Elon's speech, and actually, I totally forgot my point. So let me get, let, let me go back to my uh, my my script or whatever. So so um, so uh, back to uh, back to what I was saying about with my uh with my speech um and with with, with everyone with cluttering um they have three uh, the, the the three normal disfluencies are interjections repetitions and revisions and um just like um just like me and just like um people with cluttering um Elon Musk has a much higher than normal um occurrence of of those three interjections so, so, or, um, sorry, of, of those three disfluencies, and the first of which is interjections. So, inter, um, interjections is the first one. Um, interjections is when you say um or, uh, or, uh, or just like um, other other sounds are just um, and with cluttering, then interjections can also be that you have a sentence and then you kind of interject another sentence in the middle of that sentence. So, so um, Elon Musk does both of those. Um, I think l like most people that are, are as confident as Elon never say um when they're speaking. But if you notice, uh, Elon, um, Elon says um, um just about as much as I, I do, where someone like, um, someone like Barack Obama probably only says um for like practice or whatever so 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 elon, um, elon says um and then also you uh when when you watch his speech then he'll be talking about something and he'll kind of be talking about like two competing sentences at the same time and then often like one of his sentences inter interrupt interjects another sentence and then i've noticed also that when he's formulating or when he uh, when he's talking sometimes he sometimes he starts a sentence that is actually like two sentences away so he'll start talking realize oh i need to say this first and then he'll say um, but then he'll finish that sentence and then pick up with what he was starting earlier. So that, um, that's something that that's something that he does all the time. And I lump that in the interjections um, part, just similar to saying um, because you're interjecting one sentence like in the middle of another sentence. And with him, it kind of comes across as repetition because I, um, I remember one thing um, there. So, so, so he had one sent. His second sentence started with there, uh, and and the sentence he ended up saying first started with this. So he said there, this, there, this, there, the, um, maybe like two or three times, and then said this is what, and finished that sentence, and then started the second sen sentence with there. So, so that's interjections, um, repetitions, and. One of the things with normal speech, then most people will repeat a word two times, and then very, very occasionally three times. But with clutters, um, clutters are pretty much the only people that repeat a word four or more times. So someone with normal speech might say, where, where is the store? And then very, very, very occasionally, where, where, where is the store? But then someone with cluttering will very, will very often say, where, 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 where is the store? So that's a very cluttered way of, of speaking. And, and pretty much no normal person says, repeats the word where, repeats any word 
four or more times. Um, two times, yes, three times occasionally, but pretty much never four or more times. And you don't have to listen to Elon Musk very long before you hear him repeat the same word four or more times. I think pretty much every pretty much every interview where he's talking for more than about 15 minutes, then he does that. Oh, and then um, something something else that's really really interesting. This is um, this this is the aside I think that I was trying to say before is that, and hopefully I don't forget it again because that's the super embarrassing thing for me about cluttering. Okay, so usually when you repeat something over and over again, then you get better at it. And actually, let me let me give you an example. So this this book series is how I learned Thai. Um, Dora the Explorer in um, bi bilingual um, bilingual Thai and English. So here's the here's the English part. What does it say? Dora fills the magic pitcher. A rainbow appears. A unicorn comes down from the sky. So the first time uh, the first time I read it, it's it's okay. And then, and then basically kind of the activity is to keep saying this over and over again. And then in theory, if I do a few things right, then my, then after I've practiced it over and over again, then it'll get better and better and, and more fluid and that, and that kind of thing. But the interesting thing is that sometimes with clutters, the fourth or fifth or 10th repetition ends up being way, 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 way worse than the first one. So, okay, let me, let me read this. Dora fills the magic picture. A rainbow appears. A unicorn comes down from the sky. And then I'll, I'll read it a few times. Dora, um, so, so with an untrained cutter, they just, um, they say, okay, now I have it memorized. And, and just like speech kind of gets, uh, speech with cluttering kind of gets um, just, pushed out really, really fast. Um, so, so does reading sometimes. So someone that someone with cluttering that hasn't been trained on how to like use this method to actually get their speech better can get, can get worse. So then, then maybe once I've done this a few times, Dora fills the magic picture, rainbow appears, the unicorn comes down from, uh, from the sky. So with that, I had like two or three disfluencies that I didn't have the first time or the, or the second time. And then that's, that's something that haps, happens with clutters that doesn't happen with other people because with other people, then they, um, they read it, they practice, they, they get better and better. And I've actually, um, I'll, I want to make another video on this on how, how clutters can use this technique to get their speech better and better and better. Even though the natural thing is for what I did in my last repetition for my speech to get worse and worse, the more familiar I am with, um, with this. So anyway, one of the things that I noticed is, um, Elon has a few jokes that he like tells over and over again and people keep asking him the same questions and he has the same answers. And what's interesting and kind of very, very indicative of cluttering is that even though he's told some of these jokes, maybe like 500 times already, he's still not telling them uninterrupted. And I think, I think a lot of this is because while, um, while he's, while he's doing interviews, he's also thinking of lots and lots of other, other stuff. I think none of his interviews are, are actually exactly the same. And even though he's telling lots and lots of the stories, lots and lots of the same stories over and over again, each time he's trying to make them a little bit different or customize to the audience or, or something. And so unlike other presenters who the more they tell the story, the more polished it is, um, Elon, like many clutters, um, the more he tells the story, um, the more it has, um, the more it has various types of cluttering disfluencies inside of his story. So, um, okay, so uh, that, was, uh, that was totally an aside, and I think it's part of one of the three disfluencies or whatever, but, um, oh, it's the, the fourth one that I'm not talking about. So inter, um, interjections is the first one, repetitions is the second one that I talked about, and then, and then revisions. And um, revisions is where you, um, where you basically start something and then drop it and, and go to something else. It's really, really... 
similar to Mazing, where you start out, start out, start out on one point, um, stop that point, um, start on, start on another point, and um, Elon Musk also does that. Um, there was one other, there was one other thing that I wanted to talk about that's similar to this, but the video is already 15 minutes long, and I tried my target on this is like eight minutes. So, thanks if if you're still listening. Thanks for making it to the end. And hopefully this was um, hopefully this was hel helpful. I'm not a speech therapist, and so please don't take my um, saying that Elon Musk is a clutter as an official diagnosis. Oh, and and if you ask Elon Musk, is he a clutter? Then he's probably going to say no. Um, and if you ask Elon Musk, have you ever heard of the speech disorder of cluttering? Um, he'll probably say no. So like technically he's um, w w well. I don't, um, I don't know. I guess um, I guess really the summary is that. Does Elon Musk have all of the same speech disfluencies at and above normal rate that I do? And the answer to that is yes. Um, so, um, so anyway, that's my video, and thanks very much for watching.